In today's video, we're going to discuss the effects of delay on TCP performance using Spire and Avalanche and the Spire Network Emulator. The two ports of the Avalanche appliance are connected together so that all the traffic going between the two ports will flow through the SNE. I'm using port 1 to simulate a single HTTP user and port 2 to simulate a single HTTP server. I've configured Avalanche to only open up one TCP connection so we can see the effect of delay on a single TCP connection instead of the effect of delay on the throughput of many TCP connections. This is the Avalanche Runtime Results window. There are hundreds of rates, counters, and graphs within Avalanche, but I've selected these results windows to show you during this test. It is important to note that Avalanche is keeping track of all the statistics at all times regardless of whether the user is viewing them or not. The network traffic graph shows the traffic from the service to the client is currently 3.45 gigabits per second. That is an extremely high rate for a single TCP connection. It is only possible because there is virtually no delay between the client and the server. The TCP connections graph shows that we have only one TCP connection open during this test. The TCP response time graph shows the time to TCP SYNAC. It is the time from when the client sends out the send packet to set up the connection and when it receives the acknowledgement from the server. The time to TCP first byte is a measure of the time between the send from the client and the start of the HTTP response from the server. In other words, it is the measure of how long it takes for traffic to be sent over the TCP connection. The HTTP response time shows that it's only taken 2 milliseconds to download each web page. The transactions per second graph shows that we're doing about 418 transactions every second. This is the Spirant Network Emulator user interface. The top line from 1 to 2 shows the traffic going from the client to the server. The bottom line from 2 to 1 shows the traffic going from the server to the client. The network toolbox on the right side of the screen shows all of the filters and impairments that we have available to use. I'm going to enter 5 milliseconds of delay in each direction to give us 10 milliseconds of round trip delay. We now see that the time to TCP SYNAC is 10 milliseconds. We also see that the network traffic has decreased all the way down to 51 megabits per second. The HTTP transactions per second is all the way down to 6. The HTTP response time was at 2 milliseconds and now it's all the way up to 161 milliseconds. We're now going to edit the SNE so it inserts 30 milliseconds of round trip delay. The network traffic is now down to 16 megabits per second and the 1 megabyte pages are taking about a half of a second to download. I am now going to add 30 milliseconds of delay in each direction to get 60 milliseconds of round trip delay. The network traffic is now down to 8 megabits per second and it takes almost a full second to download the 1 megabyte pages. This time we're going to add in 50 milliseconds in each direction to get 100 milliseconds of round trip delay. With 100 milliseconds of round trip delay, Traffic is at about 5 megabits per second, and the 1 megabyte pages are taking about 1.5 seconds to load. Let's go back to the SNE to take a deeper look at the traffic. There are several different types of tap devices we can add, including a Wireshark tap and a traffic graph. We're going to configure the traffic graph to report in megabits per second and to also include the frame overhead. When we hit start, Wireshark should automatically open. We can now see all of the traffic going from the server to the client. Back on the SNE screen, we can see the traffic going from the server to the client at 5 megabits per second. And that is it for this video. I only scratched the surface of the capabilities of Spire and Avalanche and the Spire Network Emulator because I wanted to keep these videos short. You can find product information at spirant.com and you can find detailed training on all of Spire's products at support.spirant.com. Thanks for watching.